Welcome back to my YouTube channel Military Matches HQ, the channel where we dive deep into the machines, men and moments that shaped military history. Today, we're looking at a true icon of British aviation, the Bay Sea Harrier. Known as the Falklands War Hero, this aircraft not only cemented its place in aviation history but also proved that innovation and bravery could overcome the odds. The Sea Harrier was born out of a revolutionary idea, Vertical and Short Takeoff and Landing, or VSTOL. Built by British Aerospace, the aircraft was designed to operate from aircraft carriers and small decks without the need for long runways. Its engine, the Rolls-Royce Pegasus, allowed the Sea Harrier to take off almost vertically, hover in place, and land in tight spaces, a capability no other frontline fighter had mastered in its era. But the Harrier wasn't just about clever engineering. It was about giving the Royal Navy a sharp edge at a time when its aircraft carriers were getting smaller and resources were being cut. The Sea Harrier first entered service in 1980, and within just two years, it would be thrust into one of Britain's most significant post-war conflicts, the Falklands War. When Argentina invaded the Falkland Islands in April 1982, the Royal Navy faced the daunting task of retaking the islands 8,000 miles from home, with no land-based air support. It meant that the fleet's survival, and the entire mission, would rely heavily on the Sea Harrier. Operating from the carriers HMS Hermes and HMS Invincible, Sea Harrier pilots flew in harsh conditions over the South Atlantic. Their mission was clear, defend the fleet, secure air superiority, and support ground forces. Against larger numbers of Argentine aircraft, including Mirages, Daggers and Skyhawks, the Sea Harrier went into combat under intense pressure. Despite the odds, the Sea Harrier delivered. With its advanced Blue Fox radar and heat-seeking Sidewinder missiles, the aircraft proved deadly in dogfights. The Sea Harrier pilots shot down 20 enemy aircraft during the conflict, without a single loss to enemy fighters. This extraordinary kill ratio became the stuff of legend, and earned the jet its enduring reputation as the Falklands War Hero. The aircraft's unique ability to take off from short decks and its agility in combat gave Britain the edge it desperately needed. Argentine pilots soon learned to respect and fear the little jet with the stubby nose and the vertical thrust. But it wasn't just the machine, it was the men flying it. Pilots like Lieutenant Commander David Morgan and Lieutenant Commander Nigel, Sharkey, Ward became household names. Their skill and determination showed the world that technology and training could tip the balance in modern warfare. After the war, the Sea Harrier continued to serve with distinction, undergoing upgrades and improvements. Versions like the Sea Harrier FA-2 introduced new radars and missiles, keeping the aircraft relevant well into the 1990s. It wasn't until 2006 that the Sea Harrier was finally retired, replaced by newer jets. Yet, its legacy remains unmatched. The Falklands proved that air superiority was essential for victory, and that the Sea Harrier had been the right aircraft at the right time. For many, it symbolizes the grit and ingenuity of British forces, taking on overwhelming challenges and coming out on top. Today, Surviving Sea Harriers can be seen in museums and air shows, standing as a proud reminder of Britain's aviation heritage. Whenever people see one, they don't just see an aircraft, they see the story of the Falklands, of courage, and of victory against the odds. That was the story of the Bay Sea Harrier, an aircraft that changed the game and earned its place in military. History Thanks for watching the Military Matches HQ. If you enjoyed this look back at the Falklands War Hero, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's greatest military machines.